All right, so here's an example of where we're going after this. So I've added my name here. I've added this little picture here. But one thing we need to talk about real quick is raster images versus vector images. Since we're going to be lasering this out, we need vector images. So here's an example right here. So I just grabbed this picture off the internet because I know it'll work pretty well. I just went to Google Images, typed in gears, got a line drawing. So this raster image right here on the right side, this is what your regular pictures are. If you play around with Photoshop, any kind of imaging, editing program, you're dealing with pixels. If I zoom in all the way, I start seeing pixels. Well, the laser doesn't like that. The laser wants a nice, straight, clean line to follow. We don't want it to go in and out all over these steps right here. So what we need is called a vector image. In a vector image, if I go to the same place, if I zoom in all the way, you will not see any pixels. You see a nice straight line right there. You might see like a little tiny pixels, but that's just because the computer monitor has to display it. But I can actually look at this and you can see how the computer has actually broken down every single one of these little line segments and figured out the mathematical formula behind that. Now the nice thing about that is that I can shrink it, I can make it as big as I want to, and it's always going to look perfect. You're never going to see those pixels or distortions. Um, you know, you could even come over here and, you know, move this stuff around if you wanted to, you know. But we don't need to do that. Undo, undo, undo. All right. So we need to take our image that we want, and we need to convert it to a vector. Inkscape does that nicely. Oh. Inkscape's a great program for doing that. So, well, first here, let's, let's add my name right here. So all I did... Over here on the left side, I've got the text button. I'm going to click that. I'm just going to click anywhere, and I'm going to type whatever text I want. This is text. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, dear. All right, so I've got text. Now I can... Make it bigger, make it smaller, however I want. But I want to turn it upside down so it actually fits on this section right here, because remember, this section is going to be flipped over. So, uh, um, if I select it, I get these arrows to make it bigger or smaller. If I hold Control, it'll keep the proportion. If I want to rotate it, one option is up here at the top. I've got these rotate buttons and flip buttons. Or if I click it once, I can resize. If I click it again, I get these different arrows right here. So I can grab these little corners and rotate. If you hold control, it'll snap to 15 degree increments. And now I can put that right there. All right, that looks good. All right, my image up here. Uh, I went to Google Images. I typed in gear. All right, and because the computer has to trace this out, something like this picture right here, there's a lot of stuff going on. The computer might not be able to find where the edges are. So the cleaner image that you have, the simpler the image that you have, the better it will trace it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Tools. And we've looked at this before when we go to transparency, but this time I'm going to go to Tools, Type, Line Drawing. So I can get any one of these pictures here. I liked this one right here, so I click on it. Right click and copy image. Go back to Inkscape, right click and paste, or Control V to paste. Now this is obviously way too big. So I could shrink it down, but I also still need to go in and trace those vectors. So while it is still large like this, I'm going to go in and trace those vectors. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way just for demonstration. You can just leave it on top, but this way it will hopefully be a little bit clearer. All right. So again, this is a raster. If I zoom in all the way, I get pixels. I don't want pixels, so I need to trace this bitmap. So I'm going to click on my image to select it. Go up here to Path. Go down here to Trace Bitmap, the third option down. 
And what this will do is the computer will do its best to trace all of my lines to make it look nice and pretty. Uh, if I hit update, that will kind of give you a little preview. If it looks good, go ahead and hit apply. All right, if, uh, to get rid of this, hit this little X right here. So it doesn't look like it did anything. But if I zoom in all the way, I can actually see it traced over the, the, uh, the image I had. So if I click and move this out of the way, you'll see I have two copies of this. Now, which one is which? Let's just zoom in. Nice clean line, that's a vector. Pixelated, those are my pixels. All right. So from here, I could take this, shrink it down, Remember, hold down control to keep the proportion so it doesn't distort like that. And I could put that right there, and that's good. Now, this I don't need anymore. I could hit delete. Now, let's say I get a picture and it loses some of the detail. It doesn't trace very well. Well, with this path trace bitmap, you might have to play around with this brightness button it will kind of, you know, if it doesn't get all of the lines or gets too many of the lines, it's a little jumbled up. So again, a lot of this is kind of trial and error. It's figuring it out. This is the artistic portion of it. You know, I know nobody thinks they're an artist, but just do it till it looks good. You'll have to adjust some of these. You can adjust some of these settings down here. I've never really messed with these ones. I've never had a need to. Uh, but there's a lot of different ways uh, you can trace things around. Um, so play around with these buttons until it looks good, hit the update, that'll give you a little preview right here, and then when you have it so you like it, hit apply, and that will trace it. Alright, All right. so that just traced it out, let's go ahead and let's delete these. So I want to save this, so first I want to save this as just an Inkscape file that if I need to open it up, make changes to, I can. So I'm going to go to File save as as always save to your google drive drop that down google drive my drive engineering folder and i'm just going to call this stand with image all right so you'll notice this is a dot svg svg is a vector graphics file um, when we looked at Google Drawings before, one of the options was vector graphics, SVGs. So save the Inkscape SVG, hit save, and that is the Inkscape file. So Inkscape can open this up if you need to make changes to it. Uh, if we want to take it back to the laser, again, let's save it as a PDF. Um, if we're using the Boss laser in the lab, that uses uh, you can use a PDF. So to save this as a PDF, file save as and the save type as drop this down to portable document for format dot pdf so fifth from the bottom right there stand with image pdf hit save um, if you are taking this directly to the lab you'll get yourself a flash drive you will plug the flash drive in to the computer When you plug it in, one of your new options will be the USB drive. So in my USB, save it with your name because you're going to have 150 other people trying to all save thing that says phone stand. So save it with your name, put your name here in the file name, and hit save. So, All right. All these uh, settings, just leave them the way they are. Hit OK. And now this is saved as a PDF that I can bring to the computer to run the laser engraver.